Vince Gill carried on two Grand Old Opry traditions on Saturday night in Nashville. The Hall of Famer and Opry member joined Brad Paisley and Marty Stewart to keep the circle unbroken. They also honored a country music legend. Kenny Rogers died less than 24 hours before the three men took the stage in front of an empty Grand Old Opry house. That's how the Opry will proceed in the short term as it's going to take much more than the coronavirus to interrupt a streak of 4,916 straight Saturday night broadcasts. I'm Billy Dukes with Taste of Country, and thumbs up this video if music is helping you get through this difficult time. We promise to keep bringing you more of it during the shutdown. Vince, Marty, and Brad sat on stools at least six feet apart to trade stories and songs with little more than acoustic guitars in hand on Saturday. They were all impacted by Roger's life and hit hard by the news that he died at home in Georgia the previous night. Here's a little bit of Paisley's in the moment response from Instagram earlier that day. Like things are right when I know they're wrong. Nobody sings a love song quite like you. Sweet Music Man is the song he's singing in the video. It's also the song Vince chose to honor Rogers on Saturday night in Nashville. Sweet Music Man You travel the world with a six-piece band that does for you Sweet Music Man is a song Rogers wrote himself to include on his Daytime Friends album from 1977. It'd become a top 10 hit later that year and later get covered by Reba McIntyre. Gil was singing it back to him, as if the gambler's soul was in the audience, watching and humming along. It was almost too much. So sing your song, Sweet Music Man. You're making your living doing one night stands to prove to you. They don't need you. Nobody sings a love song quite like you do. Nobody else can make me sing along. Nobody else can make me feel that things are right when I know they're wrong. Nobody sings a love song quite like you, the song goes. We dropped a link to Kenny's full version of the song in the corner and in the description section. Sweet Music Man opened the Grand Old Opry performance, but Paisley closed his song This Is Country Music with an ode to the singer by performing The Gambler. What's your favorite Kenny Rogers song? The 81-year-old died of natural causes after a short illness and some time in hospice on March 20th. His family was by his side through it all. Find a button for 20 of his best songs at the end of this video and look for the world's longest running radio show to continue this Saturday night. In addition to finding it on WSM AM and Sirius XM, you can watch the Grand Old Opry live on Circle TV as well as the Circle's YouTube channel. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for watching.